All right, guys. I wanna <clears throat> I wanna show you uh, a corn ring punch tool that I'm working on. Been working on actually for quite some time, and um, it's actually most of it's already been shown. But I just kind of wanted to show it uh, just to make just to make sure that it's uh, documented, dates are documented, and that type of thing. Um, if you look at my past videos, you'll see a video that's titled um, Making the Box, and that is this box. If you look back further in my videos, uh, you'll, you'll find a video, well, you'll find numerous videos about the tool punch, uh, coin ring tool punch tool that, uh, that I developed and, and designed and um, the last one that I did a video on because I didn't do a video on all of them but the last one I did a video on was the new improved coin ring center punch tool and um, it showed that tool and um, that was a part of this tool set now, this tool set uh, comes in this very nice oak box, brass hinges on the front, on the back, and a latch on the front. It has three different size punches and corresponding dies. Dies uh, consist of the uh, shim type design like this that accommodates the different coins a quarter, 50 cent, and a dollar. And the way it works is you, you stick it in there if you want this size hole and a quarter you stick it in this and you use this punch to knock the hole if you want this size hole and a quarter then you can stick it in this one and use this punch okay and vice versa all of these interchange one to another so you can punch whichever size hole you want in whichever of the three coins three different sizes three different coins um, gonna try to keep the price down as low as possible on this kit Anyway, that's it. Um, not going to get into a bunch of other junk, but that's it. I know a lot of people have been waiting to get a kit or a, a punch tool from me. Believe me when I tell you that I want to get them. I want to get them to you. There has been some issues that has arrived with other individuals who have uh, basically stolen my tool design and started making the tools and selling them prematurely before they're tested. And retested and retested for safety and a situation has occurred and because of that situation I have held back on selling the tool um, I needed to clear the fact that the, that the particular tool that was the cause of the incident was not one of my tools. 
and the only way that I could do that was to not sell any of my tools. Okay, so that's why there's been a delay. Um, up until this point, I was unable to share that information. Um, but because of uh, recent things that have just happened in the last few weeks, um, I can go ahead and share that information and I'm, I'm, I'm actually producing this tool right now and even though it's, it's, I still want to say that this is in the trial stages and in, in, in the experimental stages. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some individuals that would be interested in purchasing the tool to test it. Okay. Um, I'm confident in the safety of the tool enough and I've been cleared as far as legal responsibility for the other person's tool that failed and, and caused the, uh, the catastrophic problem. Um, anyway, I really can't get into that too much because you know, I don't even think the person that is responsible has even been notified yet. So that'll that'll be remain to be seen. But um, anyway, uh, hopefully here very soon I can start getting some of these tools shipped out. All right, thank you. Have a good day.